hello guys welcome to my channel from this video i am starting a brand new series on spring or spring boot in java as you know that the spring boot is a framework of frameworks and it is so popular also so in this video i am going to start a new series on that spring and spring boot so first of all i will start spring then i will start spring boot so here uh, in the first video i am telling you that how you can create a first spring program just like a hello world without any dependency without any kind of confusion just we are trying to make a good uh, you can say comfortable uh, environment on eclipse for developing a spring application so in this application i'm starting just to uh, tell you that how you can create a spring application so create a new click on new click on maven project why maven the question rise why we select a maven project actually i i tell you that the uh, the spring uh, is a framework of frameworks so so many dependencies so many libraries are required to make a spring program so it uh, is not easy to download the library from different different websites and the big concern about spring is a version so if we download some wrong version from different websites so we will have uh, so many error in program so that's why we have a uh, two main repository uh, means first one is gradle but that we uh, use in android application also and second one we have a uh, maven so maven have a very good repository and very good you can say the cloud storage for the dependencies required by the spring so for creating a maven project we have to click on the new and then maven project and without disturbing anything just click on next and for uh, the fresher one we have to select this one the maven arc type quick start 1.1 in your id you may have 1.2 1.4 any version you have but remember that we have a arc type quick start why we are taking this because it's a ready made environment in which we are going to develop the spring application that is for beginners purpose and remember if it is not coming then you have to search here for the internal then it will come here now click on next and it will ask for some information so here we have to give in place of group id uh, we write domain name because we want to make this project as a unique project so on android also you remember that we also give some domain to make the package unique and that artifact id means the name of your project so i say youtube spring first for youtube i am creating this application for youtube and i say youtube spring first and i just finish so you, need, you 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 see that we will have this project here this project we have here so project is ready but is not ready uh, for spring so first of all we have this pom file so open this pom.xml so that file is required for uh, for asking the dependency uh, library to the maven so we will put some dependency condition here some you can say the uh, some uh, xml tag here uh, that tell will uh, will give the information to the maven project that we we required such kind of library so if you want to develop uh, a spring application then you require first of all uh, spring core or spring context library so for that we just type here mvn repository remember that mvn repository the first one we will have and here i will search out spring context like this because if i just give a spring context then spring core aop everything will come automatically so here i just go to the dependency of spring context now the latest release version is 5.2.18 so i just click on this you can took any version but remember that always try to take stable version now copy this one you see the maven gradle so many types of are available for java for kotlin but 
we are, we, we are using Eclipse for Maven. So that's why we are selecting this one, this dependency and just copy. Now go to the Eclipse and remember that in this directory, this directory, we have only one file here, Maven directory. As I just copy this one and I just save it and you see that automatically this directory will have these dependencies. This is a magic. So who is searching this library? The Maven. So that this file is giving the information on a cloud that we required these kind of information, these kind of library for a spring application. So just we paste here and automatically we have the library. Doesn't need to go to the website, search out the library and put here and set the class path. Nothing to worry, just put here the version you require and automatically you have this information here. And remember that for that you require internet also. So first time you require internet, but second time library is available in your directory. So it doesn't require internet for second time. But if you update something and some new library you want to add, you have to add in this file also and you need internet. Now POM is done, so we can save it. And <clears throat> now you see that we have the, here we have the SRC main and we have the package also, edu, kite, youtube, spring first and this is the app.java is a main file that is required here for the running a application in spring. So you can say that main function is required. So when I click on this green button and it will display hello world. You remember and we can change the value that this is my first spring project like this. Save it and again compile and you have the different output. If you want to take more classes here, you can take class also. Why we are just starting from the dependencies? Why we are confused to learn the spring in a tough manner? Just we here right click on this and I just say new and I just have a class here you see and I give the class I say uh, that uh, car for example and I just finish it and here I just create my function like I say public void info and here in this function says out and here I just print this is car object okay save it and we have a car just create a object here I can remove this one just create object here like this and call the function info you see and I save it and you see the output done it's a normal application but it's in Maven and a spring environment so that's all in this video in next video I will start the first application in which we will talk about the dependencies we will talk about the IOC, the inverse of control and we will talk about the, uh, you can say the XML configuration by using XML configuration, how we can make a small spring application that have a loosely coupled, coupled example. Loosely coupled means I will tell you in next video. So if you really learn anything from this video, so kindly do subscribe my channel and thank you for watching this video.